Another episode of Air Guns and Passing Channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some aftermarket accessories that are available for the caliber line air guns, but this one in particular, the caliper gun cricket tactical two. It applies to the model de designation 45 or 60. And in this particular case, this is a model 60 for the longer ver version of this gun. And today, well, I received a uh, package from JB 3D Printing, which stands for Jake Bowman 3D Printing. Printing. He's over in, in the United Kingdom. I've been dealing with uh, Jay for a few years now. I've ordered a bunch of his uh, 3D parts for various air guns that I own. And he was gracious enough to send me this out, out to uh, do some reviews on aftermarket accessories that he has made for this particular platform, Cricket Tactical. Some of it will apply to other caliber guns, but I'll get, get into that throughout the video. So let's take a look at what he's got. I'm going to leave a link to his uh, eBay channel where you, you can uh, contact him, order parts for your particular air gun. Because he, he does make 3D parts not just for the caliber gun line but you know all other manufacturers FX Byrow uh, Walter BSA etc etc so up first we have cheek riser and in, it, in this particular case, this one is a little bit taller than the factory one. And the way you install it, you're going to remove these uh, two screws. Either side, remove the two screws. And this slides over the top, like so. And all the thing this does is it raises the, the cheek piece from the factory setting the way you buy from the factory. It adds like, like this one I believe is two, two millimeters uh, taller, which for me, when I'm looking down the scope is perfect, the perfect height. So that's available for the caliber gun cricket line so we're going to install that but i'm going to uh, what i'm going to do is uh in between all every team uh when i saw it i'm going to shut the video off and come right back be right back okay so the cheek riser the two millimeter cheek riser is mounted the screws, factory screws that came with the gun for the cheek piece is really short, but all you only need to do is just snug it on both sides. You don't need to reef down on it, but there you go. Two millimeter rise, and now I have the perfect eyesight, eye relief looking through the scope. Okay. Up next, out of the goodie box, laugh out loud, we have adjustable mono bipod. Now this mounts on the back side, you can mount it depending, you know, if you're left handed or right handed. For me, I'm left handed, so I'm going to mount it like this on this side. 
along with adjustable extended butt hook. So let me go ahead and get these uh, parts mounted up so you guys can see and gals can see what, what it looks like on this tactical. All right, here's what it looks like on the gun. I didn't think I was going to like this right here, but after I assembled it and shouldered it, I can see the benefits of having adjustable butt pad that's extended out along with this right here, which uh, the monopod would come in handy if you are, if you got a bipod up front. I like this feature here. It's out of the way. You can mount this on either side. For me, since I am left-handed, I'm on this side to keep my finger close to the trigger and my right hand to do all the adjusting. It drops right down. You can adjust the height the way you want it. And what I like about this setup here is this feature right here. You go in micro increments. Adjusting the height the way you want it. Nice. And you can adjust this wheel here. You can actually, this two-piece part, two-part right here, this could go up against this silver part here. Leave this one tighten up against the rod and then the bottom one I can't do it since I don't have three hands but it actually makes it a lot easier to adjust up and down very nice feature here so this right here just wanted to show you here are the four pieces uh Five pieces, sorry, <laughs> from the stock configuration remove. It only took these two screws to remove this whole assembly here and two screws to mount everything that you see right here. Look at that. Very nice. Let me uh, show how easy this is to adjust. Four millimeter. Well, slides up and down. Just adjust to where you want it. And you, you're all set. I like the adjustability of this. Go under your arms. This feature right here. Pretty nice. Well thought of, Jake. Very nice. Very nicely done. And this is also available for other air guns as well. Not just a caliber gun, but he makes them for other air guns. So, same thing with the, the uh, monopod back here. Very, very nice. So, up next, this is side here. We are going to mount this piece right here. And what this does, let's see a little closer here, this mounts on the opposite side of where you would actually put the magazine, okay? And what this does is, caliber gun, it's, for those that know about caliber gun, these uh, levers here can be a little tricky to, uh, to play with. 
So, what I'm going to do is show you an easier way, and this is why Jake came up with this great idea where the magazine goes in so far and stops and makes operating the, the magazine lever, which is that, which is what this is, a lot easier to engage the hole without fiddling with the magazine itself. So let me uh, mount this on the opposite side. You have a screw like this on the opposite side. And this is what we're going to use. The screw is already provided. Jake already provided that with this part here. And we're going to show you how that works. Let me uh, mount this and be right back. Okay. So this plate is mounted on the left side of the action plate prevents the magazine from going too far out so it stops the magazine perfectly so you can take the magazine lever that is on this side the magazine lever and makes loading the magazine perfectly lined up you can't go too far out to the other side kind of fiddle it look at that makes putting a magazine in a breeze now see slide it in There you have it. It's already locked down. I really like this, uh, Jake. Just wondering if uh, this will fit all the caliber guns, Gen 1, Gen 2, with this style of a magazine. I bet it does. Hmm, I got some other crickets that's going to need this, laugh out loud. But there you have it. I like this. This is going to save a lot of time. And you know, uh, you caliber gun owners know it is a pain in the butt to really get the magazine bolt or magazine pin to go through the center of the magazine. Saves a lot of time. That's a nice added benefit aftermarket benefit with these uh, 3d printing and let me tell you jake has uh he has done wonders in this uh 3d printing business that he has but anyways let's uh move on and let's set this back up upright like so okay so up next we're gonna load the single shot tray for this cricket and for those of you that want to shoot single shot this makes it all possible so remove this Install this. It manages the same principle. Can't do it one handed, apparently. Okay, well, uh, there we go. Apparently I don't have it all the way. Be right back. All right, folks. Here is your single shot tray. Like that. You load your pellet or slug in place. Close the charging handle and fire. Load another pellet or slug. 
in the tray. Oh, the charging handle. But if you're going to use a single shot tray and not the magazine, you will have to remove this because this extends beyond the shelf right here and it will not operate. So you'll have to remove this if you're going to use a single shot tray. FYI, aside from that, it works like it should. And he makes it for 177, 22, 25, and 30. FYI. So, up next, we got one more, and that is Barrel Band. In order to mount that, we're going to have to remove the cover for the 1 half 20, and it just slides over the barrel shroud and onto the tank. I'm going to show you that here in a few minutes. And there you have it, folks. One barrel band. And you got a single screw underneath. Tighten dried up. Nice and sturdy. These are some nice aftermarket 3D accessories that you can mount on your caliber gun Cricut. Tactical or the Cricut 2 or even uh, the Cricut Gen 1. Very, very nice. I'll leave a link in the description. To his uh, eBay account. Check out JB 3D Printing. He is my guy I go to whenever I get a new air gun. I always check to see what aftermarket accessories I can add to my particular air gun. Sharing is caring. You folks stay safe. Shoot straight. Wear your pellet or slug. Hit his target. And we'll see you on the next episode of Air Guns and Passing Channel. See ya!